be engaged in rigorous discu discussion, sharing lessons. This policy session will be focused on advocacy, digital literacy, and training of citizens in utilizing digital technologies, and will contain short presentations from key UN member states on inclusion of underrepresented groups globally, remote learning, and innovative use of technology during COVID-19. The theme of this section is overcoming gender obstacles in STEM. This discussion will center on the cultural and structural obstacles women face, especially women of color, in moving through the channels needed to reach employment in STEAM fields and the disadvantages that they face when they do get there. Now we begin with the remarks from countries and states on efforts towards overcoming gender obstacles in the STEM field and the potential benefits of an interdisciplinary STEM model. Each of the speakers will do so within a two to three minute time frame. We are privileged to have in our midst His Highness Prince Ermias Sele Selassie of Ethiopia. His Highness Prince Ermia Sele Selassie is the only son of Prince Sele Selassie of Ethiopia and Princess Mayazete Habete Miriam. Prince Ermias currently serves as the President of the Crown Council of Ethiopia in exile. The Crown Council has pursued a mission devoted to promoting a cultural and humanitarian role. I would like to remind the audience that this is not a pre-recorded event and it is actually live in real time. That in order to prevent video pixelating or lagging, press the play button on your screen. Now, I hand over to His Highness, Prince Ermias Sele Silasi. Welcome to the International Women's Day. I'd like to thank Hermina and all the organizers for this important uh, discussion. Certainly, technology has changed our lives, and it's important that we all become cognizant of the digital divides that face both our societies here in the United States and especially in Africa. We will utilize the internet to educate young women to do the best, to become the best of themselves, and in such enforce their own sense of identity and their sense of worth and their sense of contributing contribution to society. We've done very well in Ethiopia where we have ministers, heading ministries, we have the first president, first time in our history. So these trends are all very promising and I hope it will be inspirational. We have a very young population in Africa and I think that the diaspora here in the United States can play a critical role in both linking and bridging the digital divide and inspiring the future leaders future women leaders in Africa. Thank you so much. <laughs>